Welcome to the Clever Lock and Distally Wire Guided Device Exchange in Service. Today we'll review how to attach the Clever Lock Guide Wire Locking Device and lock two guide wires simultaneously. This is an educational program designed to assist in the proper use of the Clever Lock Guide Wire Locking Device. It is not designed to replace the information in the Instructions for Use or IFU that accompanied the device when it was purchased. This presentation is a supplement to the information contained within the IFU. All the material in the IFU should be reviewed prior to operating this device. The Cleverlock Guidewire locking device securely fits onto the biopsy port of an Olympus Duo adenoscope. Cleverlock features an integrated biopsy valve. The locking device is comprised of a locking arm with three slots for securing guide wires. The guide wires pass through the channel on the locking arm and into one of the three locking slots. Black arrows on the top surface of the lock indicate where the locking arm channel is located. Carefully attach Clever Lock onto the biopsy port by aligning the locking arm away from the endoscopist and pushing straight down until a click sound is made. Once Clever Lock is secured to the biopsy port, puncture the seal on the biopsy cap by carefully inserting an endotherapy accessory, such as a guide wire introducer, through the slit on the biopsy cap. Gradually insert a device, such as a sphincterotome, into the center of the biopsy cap seal. Hold the device near its distal tip and use short throws to avoid kinking the catheter. Advance the sphincterotome down the endoscope working channel until the V marking reaches the biopsy cap seal. This indicates the tip of the sphincterotome is at the elevator. Lower the elevator if needed and continue advancing the sphincterotome. Strip the guide wire down to the biopsy cap. Lead the guide wire in a counterclockwise direction through the locking arm channel and into the locking slot. Arrows on the locking arm indicate where the guide wire needs to go. Ensure the guide wire stays in the locking arm channel and secure it into one of three slots. An audible click sound is made when the guide wire is secure. Once the guide wire is locked, the sphincter tome catheter may be withdrawn until the first C channel marker reaches the locked guide wire. Unlock the guide wire by reversing the locking motion. It is recommended to secure the guide wire using the V-lock on the duodenoscope elevator. Continue withdrawing the sphincterotome until it clears the biopsy cap and then lock the guide wire in clever lock once again. Advance the sphincterotome loaded with a second guide wire into the biopsy cap alongside the first guide wire. Keep advancing the sphincter atome until it appears on the endoscopic view. When the physician is ready, strip the second guide wire down to the biopsy cap. Lock the second guide wire into one of the free Clever Lock slots. Clever Lock enables the physician to control each guide wire independently from each other. The physician may unlock the first guide wire and adjust it without needing to unlock the second guide wire. Withdraw the sphincter atome catheter until the first C-channel marker reaches the locked guide wire. Unlock the guide wire by reversing the locking motion. Use the V-lock on the duodenoscope elevator to maintain guide wire access in the bile duct. Continue withdrawing the sphincter atome until it clears the biopsy cap and then lock the guide wire in clever lock once again. Backload a new device, such as a distally wire-guided extraction balloon, onto the appropriate guide wire. When the tip of the balloon reaches Clever Lock, unlock the guide wire and advance the balloon into the biopsy cap. The elevator may be used to maintain guide wire access in the bile duct. Once the guide wire re-emerges from the balloon, it may be locked in Clever Lock in one of the free slots. Once the procedure is completed, the devices and guide wires are withdrawn from the endoscope. Detach Clever Lock from the biopsy port by holding Clever Lock's locking arm and tilting it toward the endoscope handle. 